Hello all. After gap of few days, we are back with a new video. Today we are going to see how difference amplifier works. As the name suggests, difference amplifier will amplify the difference in the two voltages. That is, it will amplify the uh, difference of the two inputs given to the op amp. Let's see the circuit. You can see here, uh, this is the non-inverting terminal and this is the inverting terminal. So, here we have given 8 volts and 2 volts. So, what does the difference amplifier does is, it will amplify the difference between these two signals. That is, here it is 8 volts and this is 2. So, 8 minus 2 is 6. So, amplification factor, you can choose it. That is, if you want to double the voltage or keep it in unity gain, that all depends on the designer. So, but the limitation is, as I said earlier in the previous video, op-amp needs uh, 15 voltage as supply. So, output cannot be greater than 15. So, practically it will be not greater than 14 volts. So, you can do all the tweaking below 14 volts. If uh, the voltages are very less, then you can amplify so that the output may maximum reach up to 14 volts. So, you can see here, this is the R5 and R6 are the feedback resistors. This is the negative circuit, negative feedback circuit. Here the op-amp is in linear mode. So, today we are going to prove how it will, uh, output will be different in the two signals with the help of superposition theorem. As you know, superposition theorem is applicable only to linear circuits. As you know, op-amp is linear integrated circuit. So, this RC, R6 is a feedback resistor. So, as R5. And we are use R3, R4 for non inverting terminal. So, let's see the design. You can see, if we ground the non inverting terminal, that is the terminal 3, and this acts as a inverting amplifier with the gain minus R6 upon R5 into the stores. So here you can see this is so uh, VO1. This is VO1 is output just with the input at the inverting terminal, with non-inverting terminal grounded. So that is what superposition theorem is all about. So we get VO1 is equal to minus we should be R6 upon R5 into V1. V1 is 2 volts. Uh, let's see next. Now we'll ground this inverting terminal. If you ground this inverting terminal and see the input at the non-inverting terminal, here you can see this is V2. So V2 is the voltage appearing across R4 resistor. So this is VR4. Now we call V2 into R4 upon R3 plus R4. A simple voltage divider it is. So for non-inverting input, the gain will be 1 plus R6 upon R5. Here it is, uh, you need to change just 1 plus R2. Instead of R2, you replace it by R6, R1 by R5. So we get this and uh, this, input, this part is above. So we get VO2. We should choose such that VO2 should be R2 by R1. This is possible by choosing R1 is equal to R3, R2 is equal to R4. You can see this and this will get cancelled. So R4 is equal to R2. So VO2 is equal to R2 by R1. So this is very important. R1, R2, R3, R4. Choose R1 equal to R3 and R2 equal to R4. So as superposition theorem says, VO is equal to VO1 plus VO2. That is, output due to inverting terminal alone with non-inverting terminal grounded and plus uh, voltage due to non-inverting terminal with inverting terminal grounded. So, finally we get VO1 plus VO2 this is equal to R2 by R1 V2 minus VO. So, here you can see this is both as 1K that is in uh, feedback. So, gain is 1. So we get VO, 
difference in the two inputs. Here you can see this is 8 volts, this is 2, output is 6. This is done in piece spice. Uh, output. Here you can see the output in the 6 volt. Suppose if you change the resistance value, see here. R6. This is R2 in the theoretical equations which I mentioned. Here we have done it as 2K. Since R4 is equal to R2, so we need to change R4 also to, to 2K. That time gain will be 2K upon 1K. You can see R2 by R1. R2 is equal to R4. In the schematic, R2 is nothing but R6. That is R6 is nothing but R2. So here we get we got it as 2. R2 by R1 as 2. So V2 is 8 volts, V1 is 6 volts. I mean uh, V1 is 2 volts. So 8 minus 2, 6 into 2, 12. So we got the output as 12. Since the supply is 15, uh, the output will never exit this one. So this is the simple difference amplifier. Okay, we will come up with the next video very soon. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.